Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video all about a really fun experience in Epcot that not a lot of people know about. It is a little bit hidden and it is pretty cheap so it is good for anyone to be able to take a fun little souvenir home with them. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you can see all of our magical adventures at the theme parks and at home. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started. As you can see from the title of the video, we're gonna be talking about the Pearl Experience that you can do in the Japan Pavilion in Epcot. So maybe you're asking like, what's the Japan Pavilion? So in Epcot, you have different lands throughout the park and that is pretty consistent throughout all of the parks. There's different lands, aka sections of the park that offer different different things. Epcot's biggest one is World Showcase. That is where you're going to find all the different countries, all the different experiences, and it is really cool if you didn't know the cast members working in the countries are from that country. So they have this forever and then COVID happened, so they had to stop their international program, but now pretty much all of the college program, the international program is back up and running and that just a little extra detail that's really special when you're visiting those countries. So today's experience is, like I mentioned, is the Pearl experience and you can do this in the Japan Pavilion and it's super fun and exciting. I believe I did it when I was younger, but I haven't done it yet as an adult and during our last trip in June, my best friend Alyssa and I were like, you know what, we're doing it. This is gonna be the time where we're actually gonna be able to experience it and pick our own pearl. So when you enter in the Japan Pavilion, it is underneath the main restaurant there and I'll put a picture to like show you or a video of where that is located. The store in general is really cool. So there are so many fun like little knick-knacky things. If you've watched previous um, haul videos with me, then you've seen a couple of items that I've got from there. It's just fun because there are items that you really can't find anywhere else and you can just pick up like a cute little fun souvenir. It's reasonable in price. And so it's just like a super fun store to go to. And they have like different snacks and treats and candies and different things like that as well. As you make your way throughout the store, you're going to then run into the pearl section. And it kind of looks like a fish tank, but there are clams inside. And in that area is where you're going to be able to pay for the experience, where you're going to have the experience, and then when you can purchase the extras at the end. So it is $20 uh, before tax. I think it's technically like the Disney 19 99 um, but we're just gonna say let's round up to like $21 with the tax and then you have to wait so after you pay so the first thing you're going to do once you enter the store find the pearl section you have to go to the register and pay it is kind of confusing if you've never done it before because there's just like a big group of people hanging out you're hearing the drums you're hearing the cheering and you might not know where to go because there's like two different registers and there is a sign, but it's kind of little. So make your way to, if you're standing in front of the pearl section, you'll need to go on the left-hand side, right to the wall, and that is where the register is to pay for your pearl. When you do it, you're guaranteed a pearl. So every single clam has a pearl. Some have two, some have really big ones, some have smaller ones, some are bluish, some are white, some are gray or black. You don't know which type of pearl you're getting, which is like, kind of fun and a part of the whole experience. So once you pay, you also are going to be given a number. So depending on how, how busy it is, the cast members should let you know like what your weight might be. So maybe you wanna like walk around the store or just hang out, but it goes pretty quick. I would say every experience is about like four to five minutes depending on how like big the pearl is and if there's two in there. So I would say always plan for it to be about five minutes minutes and then you can estimate around what time you need to return if you do leave. I would definitely say make sure you stay in the store. Don't go outside because then you can't hear them when they call your number. So just make sure you're in the vicinity. And again, the store is super cool. So you could like spend 30 minutes just like walking around looking at the different stuff. Once you purchase your pearl, you've waited. 
now it's your turn. So once you get it up to the tank, you will get to pick any clam that you want. And also to mention as well, you can buy more than one. They're not just gonna, you could, if you wanted to do two clams or three or four, depending on how many kids you have or how many people or just maybe you want two for yourself, that's totally fine. They're not gonna like limit to you to just one clam. So you can buy more if you want. Once you get up there and it's your turn though, you are going to pick which one you want in the tank. So that's something else you can do. Make sure you don't get too close to the other guest's experience, but you can walk around the tank and look at it and decide which one you want. But also another person in front of you could pick that one too. So just have a couple, couple in mind, which ones you want. And they, I don't think there's like any rhyme or reason to it. If there is like a bigger one, I don't know if that means the pearl is going to be better you can do some research and Googling before you leave, but no idea like how a clam decides what type of pearl it's going to have or how that even happens. Beats me. Now you get to go through the whole fun experience. So it is a lot of fun and I'm gonna enter a clip next so you can see the full experience, but it's very interactive. The cast members make it so much fun. So I'm gonna show you the full experience and I'll enter that, that clip right now. fun experience and it is kind of loud I do want to mention that so if you do have people in your party or little kids that with sensitive ears just know that like as a heads up to prep them to let them know like hey they're gonna bang some drums they're gonna like sing and scream a little bit not like scream but like cheer that's the word so just let them know that if they do have a little bit of sensitive hearing that it's going to get loud for a couple of minutes so once you've selected your clam, you have your pearl now, you went through the whole experience, now you get to decide what you want to do with your pearl. So you can definitely just take it home in the bag and that's it and you're good to go. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to buy anything else. That's all you want. However, because it's Disney, they have other options for you to upgrade and make another purchase. So if you're standing in front of the clam section, all of the jewelry items are going to be to your right. And that's something else you can do while you're waiting too. You can just go ahead and browse that area just to see if there are any charms or like what color vase you want, anything like that. My personal experience, I was going to get, there's like this really pretty Cinderella carriage. I was going to get that on a necklace, but I'm like, am I actually going to wear it a lot? Probably not. So I just went ahead and I got my pearl put in a vase with some pixie dust. And I went ahead and I picked the purple color, obviously. If you know me, you know I'm a purple girl. And so they have lots of different colors. But it was still really fun doing this. Once you picked the pixie dust, 
then they'll get your pearl all nice and clean for you and then you actually get to make a wish and then you get to put your pearl in your little pixie dust jar so this was fun i honestly just have it on my desk and it's just a nice little memento whenever i look at it i think about how much fun we had on that trip and it was just such a fun experience so it is just a really small souvenir maybe you want to get this for somebody else and take it back for them it doesn't say disney on it or anything like that so in that japan store there's a lot of like generic things so maybe you have a friend that you want to bring something back for that isn't huge into disney always check out all of the stores in the country because there are lots of fun things in each individual store maybe i'll do like a video of like the countries in epcot and maybe like the little stores that they have in there let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you would like but Overall, the Japan Pavilion is really cool. The store is awesome. The Pearl experience is a great experience, and we really did enjoy it. Now, this is the biggest question. Would I do it again? Yes, definitely. I would totally do it again. I probably wouldn't do it again on our next trip just because we had that experience, but I'm really excited next year. We're going to do our big family trip again, and I think my niece would really like this. I don't know if my nephews would love it, but I think my niece would really enjoy it, so that's probably next time that we would do the pearl experience so it isn't something that you need to do every time it's just like a little extra fun experience if you want to like mix up your trip a little bit overall yes loved it highly recommend again i believe it's about 20 dollars with tax 21 maybe a little bit more but it, so so it's not cheap cheap but for a really fun interactive experience that you are going to remember forever I feel like it's decently priced, especially for Disney. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and chatting with me about the Pearl Experience in the Japan Pavilion at Epcot. I really, really enjoyed it. And honestly, I just love having, like, this little memento on my desk every day. And it's, it's cheesy, but I just love being able to, like, look at it and think about how much fun we had doing that, how much fun that trip was with our friends. And so it definitely is a fun little keepsake to bring home with you. From the most magical place on earth. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Turn those bell notifications on so you never miss a video. And give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you guys have a magical rest of your day. And I will see you real soon. Bye.